we have the very first line once again all zeros we have the very last line all zeros here's the address space for the first line the address space for the last line and every line in between is also zeroed out and therefore we have an asterisk so it auto skips each line this is letting us know without a shadow of a doubt that we have zeroed out this drive we have forensically wiped this drive you can now use this for your suspect image you can also take from this anti-forensics by learning forensic techniques fresh forensics baby what's up everyone thank you for taking the time out of your day to tune into my channel and to watch yet another one of my videos i appreciate it so much all right so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how you can forensically wipe a drive like a usb stick for example there are many use cases for this in terms of forensics uh, this is something that you would want to make sure that you do before you acquire the the image of your suspect's drive because you want to make sure that there's no residual data on the USB stick in this example before you take the image of your suspect's drive. You don't want that data to, to mingle or to carry over into the new image. Another use case for this would be anti-forensics. So if you really want to understand how to better protect yourself from things that somebody might uh, do to try to acquire your data, you know, what better thing than to learn forensics and then be able to then apply anti-forensic uh, techniques. Uh, so for me, one of the things I always do whenever I get a USB stick, whether it's brand new in the box from the store or before I use it for certain things is I always, always do a forensic wipe of it. This is also called uh, sanitizing the disc. So I have an inexpensive USB stick. This one is a 32 gigabyte USB stick. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my system. And before I do that, I'm gonna run a D message with a dash W, I'm going to plug the USB stick in. So we get some information on the screen. Uh, clearly this USB stick has data on it, looks like it has an image on it already. Uh, we have multiple partitions showing up all under uh, dev SDA and we we have what looks to be three different partitions so I'm gonna control C I'm gonna use the lsblk command if I do a what is on lsblk we get back that this is used to list block devices if I run lsblk no options uh, we have our USB stick showing up right here we already identified that it is being registered to the node of uh, SDA, or in other words, forward slash dev, forward slash SDA, and it has multiple partitions. And the system uh, did mount the file system, and it, what it looks like we have here is an Ubuntu image. Uh, some of that's being cut off by this handsome guy on the screen with his fresh forensics. Uh, polo on so let me go ahead and try to rerun that we'll pipe that into grep and we're going to grep uh, solely for anything related to sda and there we go so what we have here appears to be an ubuntu image ubuntu 24.04.2 lts which makes sense because i would have used this to install ubuntu onto a machine I want to make sure that I unmount any file system and uh, we did identify that there is a file system that is mounted at this mount point. So I'll go ahead and just run the unmount command on that mount point. 
Now, if I rerun LSBLK and I grep for SDA, uh, you see that we no longer have anything showing up underneath the mount points. All right, so now at this point, we are going to look at how we can wipe or sanitize this USB stick. As with all things pertaining to Linux, there are multiple ways that you can do this. We can explore some of the other ways, but the tried and true way to do this is gonna be to use the DD command. If I do a what is on DD, we get back that it is used to convert and copy a file. A lot of uh, tools that you may use that have, that have GUI interfaces, uh, they might very well be using DD on the back end. They're just putting a pretty little GUI on, on the front end to make it easy for, the, for you to use. But DD is the tried and true way that you can guarantee is gonna be installed on any and every Linux uh, operating system. And we can pull up the help menu by running dd with dash dash uh, help. And it'll be easier just to actually uh, type out the command and then explain what some of, uh, some of these options are that we are gonna use. All right, so we're gonna be using a special device that is located on our Linux system and that is gonna be at forward slash dev forward slash uh, zero. Uh, so basically this contains zeros that we are gonna use to zero out the drive. This is gonna be our source for where we get those zeros from. Now before we do that, uh, we also are gonna be using the xxd command. So if I do a what is on XXD, this is used to make a hex dump or do the reverse. So we've already identified that this USB stick is sitting on dev SDA with partitions on SDA 1, 2, and 3. So I'm just going to run XXD with no options and give it forward slash dev forward slash SDA for the whole entire uh, drive or USB stick and I get permission denied because I do need pseudo privileges for this. And you can see that it's doing a hex dump. It's printing everything to the screen. Um, and we have a lot of data on this because this is an entire Ubuntu image. So I'll control C that. And I just want you to see that this is what it looks like, you know, when you actually have data on the drive. Okay, so I'm going to clear the screen and we are now going to use the DD command. I will need pseudo privileges for this. Uh, the syntax for the DD command is a little weird. It's different than the syntax that you use for most Linux commands. Uh, so we're going to do DD and the main difference is that usually when you're specifying an option for a command, you always uh, typically use a dash and then the option whether it is, you know, a full name or it's just a, a abbreviation but for the DD command you don't specify options with a dash so the option the first option that we're going to use is uh, IF that stands for input file and we have to do an equal sign and then we have to provide it with the input file uh, the input file is going to be the file that we take as input and for us our input file is going to be uh, zeros so we are going to give it the location to forward slash dev forward slash zero next we're going to do of for output file and then an equal sign once again and we're going to give it the path location to uh, the usb stick which is going to be our output file and for me this is located on dev forward slash sda make sure that you are using the right path for this command. Double check, check again, because if you mess this up and you're specifying the wrong path, say for example, you're specifying the path to the system that you're doing this on, you can render your system basically useless. And I, I have done that before. So double check. I will even check once again myself. If I run LS, BLK, this is the USB stick 
that I am running this on. S D A for me. Okay. And uh, finally, we're going to specify BS, which means block size. And for us, the block size that we're going to specify is going to be 4K. Now, you can mess around with this. You can change the value of this. Um, another popular value that people use is uh, 512. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And depending on the resources of the system you're running this command on, this could take anywhere from a, a few minutes to even a few hours, depending on the resources of your system as well as the size of the disk that you are wiping. For this example, it's just a 32 gigabyte USB stick, so it shouldn't take much longer than maybe uh, 10 or 15 minutes for me. And what this is doing is this is starting at the beginning of the drive. It's going to write zeros to the entire drive, both allocated and unallocated portions. So it doesn't matter if the drive had anything on it or not, it is going to write zeros to the entire drive from beginning to end. So that's going to be almost 32 gigabytes of zeros that are going to be written to this USB stick. All right, so now the next step in this process is a pretty important step, and that is going to be the verification that we have, in fact, zeroed out the drive. So when we say we zeroed out the drive, we're literally saying that we wrote zeros to the entire USB stick from beginning to end. And that is how you securely uh, delete or wipe something. It's by overwriting the data and making sure that you have overwritten anything and everything. Uh, we used zeros, but you could use other characters or you, you could use other things if you wanted to. You could write, overwrite it with a specific pattern. Some people do that. All right, so now we're gonna use XXD once again. I will need pseudo privileges for this. I'm gonna run XXD with no options. I'm gonna give it the path to the USB stick, which for me is dev forward slash SDA and hit enter. And now it's doing a hex dump of that USB stick. And as you can see, it's just nothing but zeros from left to right. Now this would be very, um, this would not be practical to do this for the entire contents of the USB stick. But if you truly do want to verify that you have properly sanitized or wiped the contents of this USB stick, then there is a way that you can do this. Once again, we are gonna use XXD, but we're gonna specify dash A. And we're gonna give it the path to the USB stick, which is forward slash dev forward slash SDA for me. Now, let me go ahead and hit enter and explain to you what is actually happening here. So if this has been done correctly and we have wrote zeros from beginning to end, then there should be nothing on this USB stick, nothing in the headers, nothing other than zeros. So by specifying dash A, what essentially it's gonna do is, it's gonna give you the first line and you can see that this is the first line by all of the zeros over here for the, the uh, address space. It's gonna give you the first line and provided that it does not run into any other line that differs from this line, then it's gonna skip all of the remaining lines. And then I believe it'll give us the last line. So provided that it is zeroed out, we'll get the first line, we'll get the very last line, and it will skip every line in between. So this command will take a little bit of time to run. Once again, you run it, walk away, do something else, and you come back and you check on it. And this is what you should see is something identical or similar to what you see here. We have the very first line, once again, 
all zeros. We have the very last line, all zeros. Here's the address space for the first line, the address space for the last line, and every line in between is also zeroed out and therefore we have an asterisk so it auto skips each line. This is letting us know without a shadow of a doubt that we have zeroed out this drive. We have forensically wiped this drive. You can now use this for your suspect image. You can also take from this anti-forensics by learning forensic techniques. You can better understand how to protect yourself. We'll look at some other ways that we can do this, perhaps better, perhaps quicker. It's open for interpretation, but that's gonna be it for this video. As always, keep learning and stay fresh. We'll see you in the next video.